Example 1.2. This is an steady radiation case in which we have a cylinder with a given diameter, a surface temperature given, and a surrounding temperature given. We have a value of emissivity, and we have to calculate the emissive power and the absorbed inclined radiation value. We also have to calculate the rate of heat transfer. Let's start the analysis by calculating the amount of energy that is leaving the cylinder by emission, which is given by emissivity Boltzmann constant and the surface temperature to the fourth power. If we enter the values, this quantity should give us Please make sure that you double check these values. Let's now calculate the amount of energy that is entering the cylinder by irradiation, which is given by G is equal to the Boltzmann constant, the surrounding temperature to the fourth. Once again, plug in the values and you should get a value equal to this. Notice that the amount of energy that is leaving the cylinder, it's about four times, actually five times bigger than the amount entering the cylinder. The second part of the problem is asking us to calculate the rate of heat loss per unit length. Before we calculate Q, apostrophe, which is the value of heat divided by the length. The amount of heat is divided into two parts. A convection part and a radiation part. So notice once again, this is the amount of heat due to convection and this is the amount of heat that is due to radiation. In this particular case, the surface area is given by the perimeter times the length. Since what we're looking for is Q bar is equal to Q divided by L, what we're going to use is pi D and we're going to keep all the value that is inside of here, inside of the parentheses. Therefore, the equation becomes this. Now we're going to divide and calculate each component. So we're going to start with the convection and if we plug in the values, it should give us a value close to. Notice that the units have to be heat or watts per unit length. And if we do the value of the radiation, this is going to give us somewhere around. Notice that the convection is a little bit higher than radiation. The total heat loss per unit length should be equal to Please make sure that you plug in the values and try to get the same answer on your own.